everybody, and welcome to Creative Minds, where creativity is key. I'm your host, Ethan, or Master Ethan. I am here with my other host, Emerias. Say hello there, Emerias. Hello, everybody. So the reason I wanted to start this podcast, because I am a creative person, and you are a creative person, and I figured, hey, I want a podcast to talk about creativity, because I like creating things, and so do you. So I want an outlet to talk about creativity. And the first few episodes are going to be me and Emerias. But in the future, I'm hoping to get some guests on the show to talk about creativity. Be on the lookout for that. That'll be that'll be really fun. I agree. But today, the topic at hand is struggles slash frustrations of being a creative and YouTuber. There's there's a lot to, there's a lot to talk about here. There's just there's yeah, just... for real. This is a perfect storm for me. Because the first thing that I've written down is feeling overwhelmed when everything else ruins productivity. Yes. That is me currently because, as you know, I am on a break from YouTube because life has just gotten absolutely crazy. And I've gotten to the point where, like, I'm finishing up school. I have two jobs. It's just I'm, I'm trying to help myself mentally. I've been been feeling really overwhelmed with a lot of things and have been trying to help myself mentally by trying to not worry about as much right now because I want to finish up school for sure and then once school is over I, I want to go back to the YouTube grind for sure but for now that's kind of the priority because I want to get done with that for sure so that that's that's never fun I didn't want to take a break from YouTube but knowing me if I don't force myself to take a break I won't take a break plus I haven't taken a break from YouTube in about a year oh boy yeah I know right and I'm planning on once I finished with school I'm not planning on taking a break from YouTube for a long while. So this will be a good kind of like rest before the long, hard grind. Ooh, so. big things coming. But yeah, it's, it's, it gets, it gets intense when you, uh, even at, um, a couple videos a month, even that gets intense. Cause you gotta be like, no friend, I can't hang out with you. But at the same time you want to hang out with friends and then it gets lonely. Cause you're like, oh boy, all my friends doing stuff. And I'm over here editing in the darkness, e- eating chips, you know, is that one of your struggles? Yeah, the, mate. the fact that you have all these friends and they're like i want to hang out and you're like no i'm busy kind of thing yeah and then it's like what you busy with and i'm like i'm editing a video and they're like oh youtube no you can do that later and i'm like but if i if i treat it like that then nothing will ever get done you know exactly yeah and the thing is like you see the end result and they don't kind of thing too in order to get to that end result you know i kind of have to you know work on it exactly because there's no other way now it's the summertime so everybody's kind of gone you know doing their thing right yeah so it's less of a it's less of a pain or maybe it's more because people have more time all i know is all my friends be on vacation to like these Caribbean islands and I'm just over here filming myself in front of a green screen. It's, 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 it looks weird, but you know, it won't be weird in 10 years roasted. Oh, for real though. I love creating, but like it gets really, really difficult to create when you're feeling extremely unmotivated. That is literally me right now. I think today and yesterday I was like, I don't want to do anything and i was just i've just been like really tired recently i i like i'm waking up feeling miserable it's just it hasn't been a good couple weeks and like it's just i haven't felt motivated to create and it's weird because usually creating like helps me mentally and like makes me happy but more recently it hasn't been doing that so like i've been kind of like in a sense forcing myself to like say edit a podcast i was actually editing uh Mm -hmm. nobody cares episode 13 before you know recording this and like once i start i'm usually fine but it's always like starting is very difficult for me now for some reason so like that's the struggle of being a creative person it's like motivating yourself to do it when you feel like really unmotivated when i whenever i post a video it makes me happy right but it's kind of like a spiral you know because if i'm not posting i feel less motivated you feel sad when you don't post a video like you feel like because you let you know the people that watch your videos down, right? Exactly. And it's a spiral, mate. And then you're, you're you know, you're sad and then you're like, you don't want to do anything. And then uh, you you keep on not posting and then it gets even worse, you know? Yeah, that's, that's kind of why I made my break public. I, I didn't want to be one of those YouTubers who didn't post for like a month and then make everybody wonder. I wanted to be smart about this and be like, no, I'm going to tell the people, hey, I'm going off the radar for a little bit because personal stuff. I will come back like i'm not quitting i'm just letting you know just don't expect a video from me for a while that's a, that's a smart idea actually I, i've never actually done that like a public break but i'm always like i don't know i'm gonna take a break you know like it just happens and i'm like oh boy well there's another week 
I feel like I really need a new, new computer here because uh, mine's kind of mm -hmm. farting. Oh, you know? yeah. I didn't even write that down, but yeah, that's so true. Like, dur dur while editing, my computer is crashing a lot more now, and it's it's not too great. But I'm the kind of person to save, like, every five seconds, so I'm usually good. Yeah. But it's, it's frustrating. And then I, I kind of actually listed my computer for sale on, like, um, like a local marketplace app. And uh, I think I'm, I think I'm asking too, too much for it, but I'm, like, the struggle of adding more money into the pile to buy, you know, good computer. If only we was big tubers, get them AdSense and then pump it back in. And I, that that kind of feeds into one of the frustrations of being a YouTuber. It's that we're not really getting any money for this. <laughs> Yeah, we're good. This is these are our passion projects. You know, we love to do it and we just love to create and, you know, make videos and entertain people. And it's what we love to do. It's pretty much like two full time jobs up in here. You know, uh, we're not getting paid, but we're doing all this work like uh, like it is a job, which uh, which is cool. But you still got to survive, you know, which is why I have two jobs that I absolutely hate. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. It's just to, to fund to fund your YouTube addiction and you know live. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Make sure I don't starve and you know. Yeah. I'm over here uh, flipping stuff from the thrift store, trying to uh, trying to buy food, but it's been like ramen, you know. I mean, I make some pretty some pretty intense videos, like right now. Like every scene is a green screen, so like anywhere from like five hours to like. 20 hours of just of actual work yeah it's it's so much work for so little return currently there is a return and that's the people that watch your videos and in some ways it's like it doesn't feel like a lot of people but if you put those people in a room you then realize oh wait that is a lot of people yeah <laughs> I, know, I feel like a hundred people in a room that that that's a lot a lot of people what do you how do you feel about uh tags is, is this a struggle for you the tags is this is yeah this, um, i usually leave really? it yeah i'm usually like okay i posted the video now let me you know do some distribution i leave the tags till the end and then sometimes they never get done and i'm like oops i always do the tags when the video is uploading there's a few things i do I write the description and then I write my tags. And then during this time, I also create the thumbnail while the video is uploading. So it's like, so that way I'm doing something. I don't know. Like tags have never really been a problem. It's just the fact that with tags, it's better to use phrases and like sentences instead of just like single words. You got to look up phrases that relate to your video. Coming up with a fandom name. With fandom names, they just have to come naturally. Exactly. Or the fan base chooses it kind of thing. And it's like, it's kind of weird how mine came around because it's like, I don't really have an official name, but one that we've come up with by we i mean like some people on a live stream and me have come up with the ethernet i don't think i even thought of it i think it was uh one of the viewers in the stream i think that's how it came about and then i'm like you know what i actually really like that that's kind of what it is and i i like the tone of it and nobody's really complaining about it so i mean <laughs> those kind of things i feel like they need to come naturally and not feel forced once you choose it you can't go back so it's the, the rest of your life pretty much this is okay this 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 struggle of mine feeds kind of into me personally though but feeling like I'm not good enough no matter how hard I try it seems like I'm still not good enough creatively like there's always something that I could do better even though I've spent 10 hours editing a video it's like I feel like that there's something more I could do and I never know what that is and it, and it's kind of weird because it's like this also kind of relates to like looking back on my old content where it's like this content isn't good enough which is why I try to push myself to like be better I know I've gotten better because I feel like I've gotten to a point in my editing where it's like it's really good where do I go from here kind of thing it's mostly just like experimenting with different edits at this point, which I really enjoy doing anyways. I don't know if you have this struggle, but whenever I post a really good video, it puts so much pressure on the next video. I'm like, oh crap. Exactly. And I messed it up a couple yes. of times. Yeah. One of my struggles is like when a video goes viral, your other videos don't feel good enough view wise, especially where it's like, oh, you make a new video and it gets like a hundred views, even though your last video got 23,000 views. It's like, oh, but what? What? <laughs> What happened? Nate? It's just like, yeah, exactly. It's like, this is a gems of the internet. This should get, you know, a thousand views. No, this, this video is at like 200. Writing a script 
coming up with ideas is getting tougher and tougher for me personally it's not coming up with the ideas it's like following through with them right now because i have videos scheduled weeks and months in advance at this point but it's kind of like there's still some spaces in the calendar that i need to fill and it's just like i'm starting to question some of these video ideas of like wait do i really want to do this kind of video my next video is, is going to be like very different i don't know if i want to do it because i don't know if it's me and that's another thing i've been struggling with recently it's like with my channel because i've been trying to find my voice and it's it's been this weird thing of like it's always been centered around comedy but at the same time it's been more than that and i can't really figure out what the more is because like i've realized that i love to like analyze things and i think that's one of the reasons why my hive swap video did so good because it was so fun to like analyze all of the aspects of the game and i and i want to do more analysis like that i want to do a few videos where i'm talking about like a specific subject and analyzing it finding out who you are as a person you're kind of like bound to what kind of content you make i mean yeah i feel like because mm -hmm. you're like oh no if i make that video all the fans are gonna be like oh no goodbye sir i haven't really had that happen to me yet so far i mean they always seem to like what i put out but it's also always like before i publish i'm like oh no this isn't good good enough oh boy they come to expect big quality things like after like birdman or whatever like a large production i'm like oh no how am i supposed to go back to like a sit down talk video well i think it depends on what kind of channel you have i feel like for you it, it just works because it's you it's like with personality driven channels it's like it just works works and I, we're, I feel like we're in that category of it's it's us but I, I've been trying to get into the category of where it's like more of a style or something I know I haven't found it yet but it's okay because like I'm still having fun trying to find my strengths and weaknesses I think that's what I've been trying to figure out that's true what kind of what kind of content works out best and the only way to figure out is to do a lot of content and I figured out what things I don't want to do like reaction videos and lego videos and challenge videos oh, I know boy. those are, I'm never going to do again. So those are out the window, obviously. I, I love writing scripts. So like that's not going to change. It's hard though. But it's the fact of like what to write scripts about. About. that's what's getting more and more difficult i got a whole another another struggle but i just wanted to add to this real quick but i forgot what i was gonna say so uh yeah <laughs> oh boy yep that's a struggle of being a youtuber you're always very forgetful yeah i had a good point to make oh boy oh boy mate uh oh wait wait now i forgot my other point wait wait oh no oh i got it i got it i got it making a skit by yourself I, I used to do that a lot of times. I remember those days. Those videos always took so long to edit. Holy cow. Also, recording took a long time because it's like when I used to do it, I had like four to five different personalities of myself. So I had to do set up the camera like five different times. I had to record five different times. I had like five clips in editing. It was heavy. Like it took a long time. Yeah. The sad thing is I look at that video now and I'm like, this is garbage. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> which is like, sad because yeah. it's That's like true. yeah, like if you even if you add a external mic into the mix, then it's even worse. Like placement, and everything. I always try to get away from, do less of, but for some reason, it always comes back. I'm like, maybe I'll do a little bit of acting in this one, you know, a couple scenes, and then suddenly it turns into a big thing, and I'm like, oh no. I remember when I used to make videos, I didn't worry about the audio so much, and I look back at that videos, and I'm like, holy cow, I did not care at all about the audio, which is bad because in my more recent videos, I've actually been like enhancing the audio and making sure like there's no background noise and like turning up the treble and bass and nice, equalizing boy. it, compressing it. Yeah. Yeah. It just makes it sound way better too. My most recent jumps of the internet, the, the audio on that, I'm very proud of. The Hive Swap video, it, it could have been better, but I'm at a point now where it's like, I think I've mastered like the audio area of videos in that way. And it took me like, what, two years? <laughs> <laughs> or two something. years to master the audio yeah yeah i feel you on that one audio is always a uh, a toughie as they say in the south um i don't know if you have the struggle but like equipment i feel like i have you know the equipment all the equipment i need right now but there's always something else like another lens for something or like gaming live streams or whatever you need some kind of setup and a better computer for sure <laughs> Better computer, you know, a cool chair, and then you don't have too much space. If you think about it, there's always room for improvement. That's never going to change. Chasing perfection. Oh, that's also a problem, mate. Yeah, perfection is an illusion. But yeah, chasing perfection is 
been struggle. Like perfection is like the enemy of execution. I'm like, oh boy, you're right. So I try to be less perfect with uh, my stuff. That's that's why I always had a deadline because it was like there was a point where I'm like, okay, Ethan, listen, you need to post this video and move on. You need to work on a new thing because you're at the point where it's like you could work on this. You could basically start this over or you could just post it because it's really not as bad as you think it is because, you know, negative bias. You need to move on with your life. <laughs> Yeah, Sometimes I just have to do that where it's just like, I can't stress and think about this anymore. I need to release my child to the world. <laughs> oh, release your child, mate. Oh, I, I see you. Oh. <laughs> my videos are my children. <laughs> it's You have a lot of children. You have a lot of children right there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Good job, mate. That's an image. Good, good job, mate. I have 87 children. A little master influence <laughs> running around. Oh boy. What milestones do you celebrate? Do you celebrate 1,200 subscribers? Do you celebrate 1, 2, 3, 4 subscribers? I, I, I've, I've figured out my milestones. I, I figured this out in my head. So I did a milestone at 1K. My next milestone is going to be 10K. Nice. Yeah, I like that. Wondering if uh, doing everything you're doing is going to pay off in the end. Oh. Yeah, mate. Or if you're just going to lose it at some point and then uh, all your effort and hours of work is went to waste. That is something I have literally considered today. And I'm not even joking you right now. But see, this is the thing. This is what you need to realize. You have to set up what is a win. You know, like what is winning in your book? I think you need to figure out like why you're making videos. It's like, do you enjoy it? Do you like to you know make other people's day do you like to make them laugh do you like to cheer people up i think it for me like whenever i post a video in my mind i always win because one of the reasons i make videos is to create clean entertaining funny videos for the internet and that's something i've always done and so whenever i post a video that adds to that so that's the way i'm winning another way i'm winning is you know growing up a community of people that honestly a great community of people like everybody is like really nice one of the ways i know this is because the comment section in my i need to take a break video is like it's crazy yeah i saw that today yeah one guy granted me like an entire summer and i'm like dude i don't need an entire summer but thank you it was just like there were no dislikes there was just every single person was just like we understand if you need to take a break i honestly wasn't expecting that whatsoever it you makes know you cry, yeah. i wasn't expecting as many dude i i wanted to <laughs> I, and I'm glad I've grown this community of people who like care about each other and like nice to know I don't have a toxic fan base. <laughs> you know, it's just like it's very, you know, reassuring. Don't you hate it when you're editing a video and you look through it and you're like, yeah, everything's good. You export it and then you watch it and then you realize, oh, no, something's wrong here. Oh, no, I have to go back into editing fix it and re-export it oh that is one of the most frustrating things and i remember one time when i was making a video i had to re-export a video about four times there was just something that wouldn't work it was just like it was so aggravating and by the end of it i'm like i'm so done right now like i wasn't even happy with the video i was just so frustrated i'm like i'm done i can't do this anymore yeah so That's yeah true. but it, the video got done yeah I can't really watch my videos in full resolution. In Premiere Pro, you can turn down the resolution to be like one fourth. Yeah, it's 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 different from like editing and then watching it like full screen. You know, watch it through, but there's, there's still issues usually. Yeah, this is why I've, before exporting, I watch it through in editing like once because sometimes there's like audio things that I can catch at least. Little audio cues. Yeah, it happens a lot, honestly, more than more than I would like. And then exporting takes a while. So I'm like, oh boy, I guess, I guess, uh, I guess this video is not getting done for this weekend because you're, you're really really good with scheduling but i just got so much going on it's like i gotta get better at managing time for real which is uh, which is why i'm trying to get three videos a week at some point that's the goal but it's always tough i feel like for me this hasn't been a problem like at all but missing deadlines is just so frustrating because then it's like oh i have a whole nother week before a video goes up and this video should have gone up yesterday for me personally that hasn't happened in a very long time and i think that's mostly because of my creative calendar which i love so much and i'm so glad i started it at the beginning of this year because it has helped so much with just all my creative stuff i highly recommend setting that up and i know you've done that oh thanks mate you acknowledge i'm like very 
ambitious with my stuff and it's hard to stick to it because I have a hard time saying no to people when they want to hang and stuff. And I'm like, oh boy, I guess, uh, I guess we'll try it again. So I'm on my sixth, like, or seventh attempt to follow a content schedule. So hopefully it'll work this time. Trying to edit after work is, is a struggle. Sometimes it is, yeah. Have to stay awake. The bed's right there, and you're like, oh boy. Oh yeah. I could lay for down. For real, yeah. And sometimes you do. And you're like, okay, I'll, I'll just I'll just take a little nap, and then nap turns into sleep. Honestly, one of the reasons I've been able to make weekly videos is because I think for like the past month or two, I've been staying up to like midnight just editing, honestly. And I think that's, that's how I've been able to. Because like Mondays and Thursdays, like there's hardly any time to be productive creatively unless it's like after work. Because then I get home around 9, 9.30-ish. So that gives me about two to three hours to kind of edit, which is good. I mean, like two to three hours in editing, that's like, that's a pretty long time. That really helps. And depending on how heavy the edit is, I mean, it it, it just depends. It's 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 just, it just gets tiring after a while. And lonely, not to mention lonely, mate. Which is why it's good to have internet friends. creators. Exactly. Mm, yeah, for real. Find your people, mate. You have to watch your videos over and over, getting, getting bored with your own videos, yeah. and that makes you think mm -hmm. it's bad. You're like, I'm watching this, why am I not laughing? But in reality, you yeah. watched it like a hundred times. This is why I've tried to refrain from like editing my video for like five seconds and then watching it over, then editing it for 10 seconds and watching it over again. I've learned to stop doing that because oh, the more I do, do it, the more lazy. I like dislike it. This is why I've just been like nose to the grindstone in editing, which is I think has helped me. Uh, I, yeah, I keep on watching my stuff. I'm like, this is so good. This is so good and it gets bad <laughs> and then mm, it gets yeah. bad because because you keep saying the same thing over and over again i learned something new little tips from mastery i don't know about you but i'm i'm i'm, I'm over here trying to uh figure out how i can produce some instagram content it's a good place to find people for me that's cool dude oh yeah that's true because there's a whole nother audience there that you can migrate yep. to tubes the youtubes Thank you for listening to Creative Minds. My name is Master Ethan. This has been Emma Rias, and this has been the frustrations of being a creative and YouTuber. Thank you for listening. The next episode will be two weeks from now, so be sure to look forward to that and stay creative. <laughs>I think this was a good episode, honestly. I think it was good to talk about, you know, the struggles of being a creator. I don't know. I feel like I feel like some people can relate vaguely. I feel I feel like people are gonna relate to like creating when you feel like not creating. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna be the one that people are like, yeah, this makes that's me. I think there's some people who are artists, and I know this because I have a fan art wall right next to me, so I know I can say that. <laughs> <laughs>